It's 7 a.m. And this one slept for 11 hours last night, didn't you? Goodbye. Ugh. Typically, his sister Sydney was up five times last night, so he's had a great sleep, mummy. Not so much. Yesterday, I mentioned that we'd um, ordered a memory foam mattress for Sam, and we were hoping that would arrive yesterday. Waited in most of the day. Uh, about one o'clock ish, my husband said, Have you checked where it actually is? Have you checked the status? So I had a look, and it's actually next Saturday it's due to arrive. So we waited in all day for no reason, really. Typical sleep exhaustion, silly mummy alert. Wasn't a total waste, though. We're actually in the process of shuffling rooms around so that both the children can have a bedroom of their own. At the moment the sleeping arrangements are Sydney, who's three and a half, has a toddler bed in our bedroom. Sam has the bedroom next to ours, which has an adjoining wall with the neighbours and he does disturb them. They've told me it's not a problem, but you know, occasionally they do bang on the wall back when Sam's getting upset and whatnot. Now, we actually live in a three-story house. We've got two bedrooms on the top floor that I just mentioned. On the middle floor we've got the lounge and a spare bedroom, which is Hubby's office. Now, that's all built in so it's... <laughs> Thanks Sam. So it's not easy to um, just dismantle that. And then on the ground floor we've got the kitchen and a fourth bedroom. Now, that room has always been used for various things, but for the past four years it's been the children's playroom. <laughs> Now, Sam's finally mastered stairs in the past six months and the playroom doesn't really get used anymore now they're at school full time um, and when they are at home and in the house Sam wants to be in the living room which is where the big telly is where we are now so they can watch Mickey on the big screen. So Hubby and I, after millions of sleep deprived nights, have decided that the playroom's going and that's going to become mine and hubby's bedroom and the master bedroom as it is now will become Sam's room we're keeping the king size bed in there so that when I'm inevitably up all night with Sam at least I can be up all night and be comfy Sydney is going to have what's currently Sam's bedroom so yesterday my husband ripped off the Lego wall that we've had in the playroom for years now. I was really really sad about that. We put the Lego wall up before we knew really about Sam's autism. Um, we thought that he'd like sticking his Duplo bricks at the time on the Lego wall because they're all compatible. And to begin with he kind of did. He did enjoy sticking the big bricks on there and certainly pulling them off again and uh, that's how we taught him his colours. I kind of stuck them on their groups at a time and he did really enjoy it but for about the past 18 months he's not touched it. Um, now I, I did toy with the idea of ext extending it a bit and using it as our headboard but Hubby wasn't too keen on that idea so the Lego wall went which left us with lots of patchy um, paint and plaster work so Lee spent yesterday patching that up um, taking all the toys out and um, prepping the wall he's filled in all the holes from the shelves and stuff that he's removed and then today's going to be spent sanding all those holes over and then um, washing all the walls down ready to paint it so we're going to be two floors below the kids so it's going to be back to baby monitors I think will be I'll probably just stick one on the landing so I can hear them if they actually get up rather than you know every slight shuffle and noise and things so that's where we're at the moment so for now um, we're all still in the same beds we've always been in but we're about to start playing musical bedrooms so I'm fully expecting sleep to get ten times worse once the change happens now our beds being delivered on the 15th of Feb, so we've got a fortnight yet, two weeks tomorrow, to sort the bedroom out. We've ordered Sydney some 
new pepper bedding and whatnot for what's going to be her new room because we want it to be at the moment it's very neutral for Sam because he needs it to be very calming and whatnot so we're going to let her signify it a bit um, with the, the furniture out of the playroom for the most part will go in Sydney's room so a lot of her toys and things will be in there as well so it'll be good for her to have her own space because at the moment she's not really got anywhere that's just hers you know so I think that'll be really good for her as well so today hubby's going to be cracking on with that I guess um, not sure what I'm going to do with the kids yet to be honest I am still shattered but I think we all need a bit of fresh air so I'm going to check the weather in a minute if it's going to be dry I might just take them for a walk in the park feed the ducks or something um, I need to do the food shopping lucky me so yeah that's where we're at today I hope that you've had a lovely weekend so far. Are you going to say bye bye, Sam? <laughs> say bye! <laughs> you watching Mickey? Say bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. <laughs>